hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel in the previous video we have wrote some code to uh, initialize or to instantiate our players at runtime but we need to change some other things before testing so one of the thing is that if you go ahead and click on the forward button so previous in the previous video we have assigned our uh, local player to this event and we uh, called our move forward function but when we made our players prefab and deleted them from our scene the reference here also gets deleted so uh, now we cannot call the player one red function on this event so uh, now to solve this problem i have created another script called buttons manager so basically what this script will do it will get the reference to our player script and we will call the move forward and move backward and don't stop don't move functions from this script <coughs> So similarly I have three methods here one of them is move forward move backward and don't move so we will get the reference to our player script because we need to call these move forward and move backward functions on our button click so we will simply put a condition if the player is null we will get the reference to our player but we will get the reference by find game object with tag so this is basically important so in the previous video we used only find function but this find will now not work because when you instantiate a player at runtime for example if you want to instantiate this at runtime so it the, its name will be changed and uh, unity will put a clone word or something like that with its name so now we need to use tags so what you need to do is put a tag on opponent player and our local player so uh, i have added a player tag and opponent player tag onto both of these player so now we will get the uh, reference of our player and its script so similarly in the move backward function we will get the reference and then we will call the player script function that is move forward move backward and don't move now we need to add this buttons manager script to our game manager as you can see that we i have added this here now one other thing that we need to change is in the gpg manager script so here if you can see that we have conditions for different messages so what you need to do is replace the find function so uh, in, previously we we are were we were using a find function but now we will use find game object with tag and we will put the opponent player tag in here so so now you can go to the forward button and uh, you need to initialize this uh, you need to drag and drop this game manager to both of these events and call the on pointer inter just call the buttons manager dot move forward and uh, on pointer exit buttons manager dot don't move so you need to go to button manager and call this function similarly in the backward we will on pointer exit we will call don't move and on pointer enter we will call move backward also if you see here we have two spawn points so we need to initialize them so i have created uh, two cubes by simply going to create 3d object and cube so 
here is our first view so i have disabled the mesh renderer component so that so here you can see that we have this cube as a spawn point one and at spawn point two we have this cube so we will simply disable the mesh renders uh, because we don't need it and drag and drop both of these to their respective reference so now i am going to test the functionality so i have my own android device and uh, this blue stack here so i am going to uh, click on the move forward function from my device so i think we have lost the connection so i will simply uh, run it again So now I will uh, I am going to click on move forward function from my Android device and you will notice that this player will be moving. Similarly if I click on move backward the player will move backward. Similarly from here if I click move backward the opponent player on my Android device is moving backward and now moving forward so uh, this is how you uh, send receive messages and how i have also shown you how to uh, instantiate players at runtime but uh, we have a problem here if you have worked with either uh, unity unit or photon so they don't use this method to sync movement of two players so what we are doing is simply sending one message so if you see here we are simply sending uh, one message to other player that we are moving forward and when we stop moving we will send another message to stop so but the problem can arise for example if we are uh, uh, switching between buttons too much it may be possible that one of the message get lost so the other user will not receive message for example if i move forward and move backward and then forward so if the move backward message get lost then we will have problem on other user and so now in the next videos we will see how to use the same method that photon and unit is using to sync the movement of our player that is continuously sending the position of one player to another player